Hey guys, and as the sign says, welcome to Feeding the Beastie. Uh, that's right, Forrest has finally named the server, um, and here I am at spawn. Um, I'm mainly here at spawn because I know Forrest intends to open us up to the public at some point, and I don't know about you, but I don't think this really meets up to scratch. I mean, this is nice, and I, li I like the floor, but you know, I would, I did it. Um, we have a little trap here and, and, and all sorts of good things going on, but it's just, it, it needs more. It's just something in the middle of the water at the moment. But anyway, what I'm doing today is this building over here. Um, I was playing with the computer craft um, in the spawn chunks and noticed that things don't unload like they would like if they weren't in the spawn chunks, you know? So um, this means information can be kept going and, and stuff and, and like thought about, at least between server resets. So I made like this little stat shack. Uh, I wish I'd called it the stat shack now actually. Oh well. Well I've called it stats. <laughs> um, what I intend to do is have various stats um, showing up on this screen. Oh I fell off. That's not good. Uh, showing up on this screen. Um, yeah, stats thing. Such things like how much rain has fallen, how many days have have gone, um, player deaths, um, the mob cap, uh, not the mob cap, the mob kills. Yeah, um, and things like that, and and any more that I can come up with whilst I'm thinking about it. Um, and then tend to you know, keep all the information in the computer and then display it on the monitor nicely. So yeah. Um, I suppose the first thing I should get to is the the rainfall because that's the the easiest one to do. Uh, yeah, I'll get back when I've got some stuff for that. Right guys, well, just a quick update on the build. As you can see, we're counting buckets and number of days um, since the last server restart. Um, how I've managed this is uh, it's quite simple over here. Day, uh, daylight sensor into a monostable, sends a pulse every sunrise and I count the sunrises. Like, that, that's, that's nice and simple, right? The one that wasn't quite so simple, that I really, really thought was going to be easy, was this rain collecting device. Now, I originally had it just with one gate at the bottom and it'll pump out and empty it all out, but that didn't work. What I have to do now is, um, so if I just show you these gates, there we go. Uh, every time the tank fills up, I get an em a single pulse and a redstone signal, which blips into this one. And then I I'm not even going to go through the horrible list of coding that I had to make happen. Um, but yeah, and then this all keeps track of it and displays it up on the monitor. So yeah, um, that last sentence there, that was two days to make that work, just to let people know how much coding had to go into that. It wasn't so much the amount of coding, it was just stuff that I've never done before, so I had to learn it all. So yeah, there we go. Um, next I'm on with um, player deaths and mob kills. We're going to this, so let, let's get that done. Okay, so we'll get back to the stat shack, stat shack in a second. But first I'd like to tell you a story of a new friend I've made. I was out walking in the desert and off over on the horizon I saw a figure that, that didn't quite look upright. Um, I, I walked over and I noticed that it was a zombie with a creeper head on. Now I've not thrown this creeper head at him. In fact, if you try it because I wanted more creeper head zombies, um, they don't put the heads on. So uh, this I decided was going to be one of my new best friends. I threw him a sword, I lured him back here. Uh, it was quite an epic journey, just kind of like river and, and island hopping him get back here. And I, I made him this little hut to live in for now. This, this, this isn't going to be his, uh, his final um, resting place. I don't know. Um, we're going to make him a, uh, a house somewhere. Um, possibly over there, maybe up top. I'm not sure exactly where, but we're going to build him a house somewhere so we can wander around, maybe chase some villagers. Uh, maybe we'll have some sort of automatic villager pop-up system so we can have him walking from room to room in a predefined path. That might be a bit complex, but we'll see. But anyway, yeah, back at spawn, I've uh, I've done the player deaths and mob deaths as uh, uh, stats. Um, these are now being kept track of. Uh, I will explain the system for that under uh, underneath here in a second. But also, pointless button presses. Ah, oh, come on. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Every track system, uh, stat, stat tracking system needs to have a pointless button system on it. Uh, so underneath, 
I've had to use command blocks because I, I couldn't find any other way of doing it. But as the scoreboard quite nicely has, you know, um, things that will run off of total death count and stuff like that, I decided to use that. Um, as you'll see here, this is one's for the mobs. I created a, a, a stats mob stat um, that goes up every time someone kills a mob. Also, every time someone kills a player, but shh, that's our little secret. No one needs to know about that. Um, and then when that increases, this clock starts. Now, this clock has to start because if this goes up to two um, and then drops down to one because that one takes a, a stat away um, then there's nothing to take the next one off because this is still just yes there's a stat in here so I had to put the clock in to carry on ticking over the take this away and then each blip goes in and we keep count as normal just in a, a, a little um, OS dot event event thing with the computer so yeah, um, I had terrible trouble getting the timing system right. Turned out the redstone clock was the best thing. I tried using this uh, redneck controller with the uh, the square wave, um, but to be fast enough so that the clock wouldn't trip too many times between pulses, um, it actually caused a fair bit of lag on the server. And obviously being in the spawn chunks, not ideal. So I had to disable that pretty sharpish. Um, but yeah, unless I can think of any more things to put on there and eventually I will come up with some sort of good display system I know I have to find someone who's a bit more artistic than me but for now it's all done I think um, thank you very much for joining me for this this build it's not really been an adventure it's just been a build and uh, we will be back shortly with uh, that over there which is in fact my gravity gun sumo wrestling ring so yeah watch out for that one and we'll probably take a tour over what's going on around spawn next time Thank you very much. Bye.